Welcome to Family Birthplace at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. My name is Jennifer and I am the Childbirth Educator. We are going to take you on a tour of our postpartum units, our labor and delivery units, and our nurseries. So here's our tour. We have seven labor and delivery rooms, we have four triage rooms, and we have 24 postpartum rooms. That's where you go after, about two hours after you have your baby and where you spend the next few days. Hello everyone, my name's Alyssa and I'm a nurse here in the labor and delivery department. Here's our main nurse's station and our secretary, Diane. So over here we have our central monitoring system. Um, this is where when we're not physically in the room, we can watch you and your baby at all times. So this line right here is the baby's heart rate and this line right here is mom's contractions. So here at our nurse's station, someone's always here to answer any of your questions. We're here seven days a week, 24 hours a day. This is one of the seven delivery rooms that you would be in if you delivered your baby here. Each of our rooms have our own private bathroom. When you're here for delivery, you have two belts on your belly. Each one has a monitor. One is to monitor your contractions and the other is to monitor baby's heart rate. So each room is equipped with an infant warmer. If your infant needed any extra support after delivery, your infant would come here. Here at HOCC, we take infant security very seriously. When your baby is born, a hugs tag will be put on your infant's ankle. This monitors your baby's location at all times. These are identification bands. When your baby is born, one will be placed on mom, the other will be placed on mom support person, and the other two will be placed on baby to help with identification purposes. This is one of our 24 postpartum rooms that we have. Our postpartum rooms are all private and they all have their private bathroom and shower. So typically you will have a bed, you have the oversized chair, and that will fold out to a bed for your support person. We have our crib for the baby. All of things that you will need for the baby will be stocked in your crib. We have diapers, wipes, t-shirts, blankets. We also have sleep sacks for the babies to use while you're here. We also have a large closet, TV, beautiful view out of all the windows two other chairs so that you are not feeling like you are stuck in bed. You're able to get up and move around and sit in different places in your room. You are in this room about two hours after you have your baby, whether via C-section or vaginal delivery. Hi, I'm Carmen, one of the nurse techs here at the Family Birthplace. This room here is where your baby will come to have his hearing screen, blood work, or any additional screenings that your baby might need before discharge. Hi, my name is Carolyn. I'm the clinical resource lead over in the NICU at HOCC. Um, we hope your baby never needs NICU care, but we're happy to help if that happens. We have 17 beds um, that we can take care of babies in. I'll show you one of the uh, rooms that a baby might be in when they come in. This is the, ad this is the admission room. Um, so if your baby needs special care because they were born early, um, or they're born sick, we would put them in a bed similar to this. This is an isolate. It keeps a baby warm. Um, we put the baby on monitors to watch their heart and their lungs and how well that they're moving the oxygen. Um, we, the baby may need an IV similar to what moms have. Um, so we use an IV pump over here. Uh, we also have special respiratory equipment if the baby needs respiratory care. The ventilator is one way that we provide respiratory support, and then we have um, uh, other, other setups, a CPAP setup that we might use. Um, when your baby's in the NICU, it can be very stressful, um, especially if you, are, you can't get into the NICU all the time. We do have availability of a wireless camera system that we use so that parents can log in and see their baby at any time even when they can't be here. And that's very reassuring for a lot of the parents. So here are one of our two ORs. If you have to have a C-section, this is where you would come back to. Right. So here's our OR. 
Anesthesia would stand right over here. They are here the whole time during your C-section and they are here to help you with anything you need. So anesthesia and the doctors and residents are in-house 24 hours, seven days a week for all of your needs. The doctors and residents would stand right over here since we are a teaching hospital. So as you may see, I'm wearing specific gear such as my cap and my mask here in the OR. However, due to the pandemic that we are currently in, we are asking all patients and all staff to wear masks at all times. So we are taking all these measures to keep you and your baby safe.